Today we're doing an install on a BMW E46 with our Mini H1 retrofit kit. Uh, at the heart of the kit is the newest Mini H1 6.0 Bi-Xenon projectors. Uh, powering them we have our Morimoto 3.5 SS ballast, the standalone CAN bus harnesses to cancel out the errors on the dashboard, high beam splitters so that you can have dual high beams with the Mini H1 Bi-Xenons. Uh, of course the E46R style shrouds to give it an OEM uh, look. Centric rings so the shrouds can fit onto the projectors. Uh, this customer is also going to go for an LED upgrade, uh, which is the BMW E46 specific uh, LED angel eyes, four of these in a kit. And uh, he's also going with a set of uh, brand new lenses to help replace his tired old lenses that, that's on his E46 right now. Just really a good idea because if you got old lenses, you really aren't going to be able to get the best result out of your retrofit and can't really see all the good stuff behind it. So I'm going to put some new lenses on there and uh, we'll start by taking apart the front end of the car and uh, get everything installed from there. If you have a BMW E46, you're in for a treat. There is no car on the planet that I could think of that I would rather do a retrofit on compared to this car. And the reason why is that the E46 was designed with replaceable headlight lenses. What that means is that the lens can actually be removed from the housing without any baking, no heating, nothing. It actually just uses several clips all around the outside edge, pop those off, and the lens will be removed just like that. All there is is a rubber seal right in between there. So uh, the first thing that you need to do is remove the side marker. These usually come off with the housings and they're just as simple as uh, basically squeezing a few clips and uh, popping them out the front, just like that. So once you have the side marker off, uh, you'll go around the edge and use a big flat blade screwdriver just like this, pop up these clips and carefully remove the lens. Just make sure not to uh, break these. It can be a little bit brittle if the headlight is old, but overall it's really easy. So take the lens off first and then you can go ahead and uh, do the retrofit inside from there. So once you have the lens removed, you're literally already ready to install the projector into the housing. It's not unrealistic to expect that you can have this retrofit open and shut probably within an hour as long as everything goes right. The only modification that you actually have to make to the headlight itself is just use a drill bit to put a small hole at the bottom of the low beam reflector just underneath the existing hole for the light bulb. What you need that for is so that the wiring for the Bi-Xenon solenoid could pass through without being crushed by the lock ring hardware. So we're gonna go ahead and start by disassembling the mini projector. It comes with the three prong bulb holder pre-installed. Should be just a screw on the back that you need to remove. Put the silicone washer for H7 applications onto the threaded shaft. Put that through the front of the reflector. Then you're gonna use this, which is the H7 adapter plate. And this, what this does is it auto adjusts the alignment so that when you put the headlight back on the car, the beam pattern from the projector is perfectly level. So put that on after the threaded shaft is through the front of the reflector. Tighten everything down with the uh, included hex lock ring. Uh, reinstall this bulb holder. And from there, the only thing left to do is install the shroud, put the lens back on, then you can put the headlights back on the car. Now it is worthwhile to note that due to the depth on some of the reflectors, depending on the specific model BMW E46 you have, the threaded shaft on the projector may not be long enough to actually fit through and get all of the lock ring and the hardware and all that stuff on there. So for the AL or the Bosch headlights, you might have to trim down this little piece right here. It should take you about a minute with a Dremel tool just to grind that down so the thickness of, that, of the seat of the bulb holder is, is not as deep. Um, or in the case of the ZKW-based headlights, there's like a little metal bulb holder here. You just use a tap hammer and like a flat blade screwdriver, just tap that out so it comes out the back of the housing. So for the ZKW headlights, just a little piece to tap off. E46 uh, BMW headlights from Bosch. Uh, you just need to grind down this little plastic piece here with a Dremel tool, uh, either of which should be very easy.
once you have the housing fully assembled, there's only a few things left to do on the back side. Uh, since we removed both of the rubber caps and we now have wires coming through for both the angel eyes and the bi-xenon solenoid, we're just going to need to poke a couple holes into the original rubber caps so that we can pass the wiring through there. And then the last thing that we need to do is install the H1 HID bulb. Now if you look at some of our other guides on the Mini H1 projectors, we do go over this in detail. It's pretty much as simple as putting the bulb in, cleaning it off with an alcohol swab before that, and using the included uh, metal clip to lock it in place. We have our retrofit fully complete. The shroud is secured on with the JB Weld and the centric ring. We have our angel eyes mounted here, and we're ready to go ahead and put the reflector back into the headlight bucket. Now, the first thing we want to do is make sure that this whole area and the high beam reflector is clean and free of any dust, fingerprints, anything that might have gotten on it while we were doing the retrofit. From there, we just need to line up these aiming adjusters with the original screws inside of the housing and just screw them back in with the knobs on the back of the headlight so that they're you know, firmly tightened back into the headlight. Um, after that, we're gonna put the original trim piece, the black trim that goes around the front edge uh, into our brand new lens, clip the lens on, and reinstall the headlight back on the car.